It's been touted as one of the most powerful graphics card on the current market. It is also the most powerful graphics card that AMD as a company has built to date. Today we have it in our lab for an unboxing. What are we talking about? We're talking about this. This is the AMD Radeon R9 295X2. There you go. Oh wow, will you look at that? A lot of pop padding. You get the water cool the water cooler uh, ventilation right here, the radiator, and this is the card itself. We're gonna turn this around like this for your benefit. So we'll take this out just to show you. I'll put this aside, we'll get to that in just a bit. Let's take a look at what else there is inside here. Alright? Nothing. Oh well, there's nothing else, it's just the card. No car, there are no drivers, nothing, that's it. So with the unboxing out of the way, let's take a closer look at the card. Uh, one of the most prominent things you notice about the card is that it is water cooled. This fan here doesn't cool the entire card, this only cools the VRM chips. The water cooler is a 12 cm radiator and a 12 cm fan, which is actually provided by Aztec. The reason for this is very simple. AMD and Aztec have long, enjoyed a very long standing relationship, uh, relationship with each other. Aztec provide coolers for AMD and AMD has always you know, turned to Aztec when it comes to water cooling. One of the things that we should mention about the card is its overall build of the heat sinks, the fan on top here and the Aztec coolers. While you can't see it and we can't actually take it apart, AMD wouldn't allow it sadly. <laughs> so one of the things that we actually should point out is the is how solid this card feels. Believe it or not, because of the dual GPU uh, functions and the setup, the configuration has actually added a bit of weight due to the heat sinks and the coolers. And on top of that, because of the heat sinks, it's using an aluminum body, it's actually very rigid. You can't twist the card or anything like that. Even if we try, we just can't. Moving on. We mentioned that the R9 295X2 is actually a, a dual GPU card. To prove it, we'll turn this card around to show you. That, ladies and gentlemen, are the individual GPUs. These GPUs are the exact same GPUs that you'll find on the R9 290X. All right? They're both Hawaii chips and both each are individually clocked at 4 gigs. The thing about the, four, the Hawaii chips that you see around here is that like we meant, uh, they're 4 gigs as we mentioned, but unlike the reference cooler that the 290X have, these, uh, these GPUs have actually been clocked to a slightly faster speed, where the 290X was uh, clocked at 1000 uh, hertz, 1000 megahertz, sorry. These GPUs each clock in at 1018 megahertz, that's 1018 megahertz. So these chips, uh, individually faster than a 290X. Uh, further on, let's turn to the back. Over here, now, the thing is, this card does not have any HDMI ports. It only has four display ports, uh, connectors, and a DVI port. On top of that, for power draw, this card uses two 8 pins, all right? two 8-pin connectors, which means this card draws a lot of power, which is actually expected. This is a very powerful card, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been the official unboxing of the AMD Radeon R9 295X2. Thanks very much for watching. If you like our video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions and we'll try to answer it as uh, quickly as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching.